According to the Bible, you believe in God, brother? Yeah. Now, let me just ask you a question. You believe in God, you know your nationality according to the Bible? What you mean? Like, it has like Jews and stuff like that. Right? Yeah, like, like what God called you according to the Bible? Well, who are you? Uh, he's true. Okay, you in true and he got a name for you, though. So we're just trying to share with our people. This, this is what we share with our people, man. Give me all Isaiah 1 and 3 right quick, bro. Because the thing about it, when you say you his children, if like for example, when you you have you have children, you have you have a child. Now, how if you were to identify your child, you'll tell me what's your what's your child's name. You'll tell me the name, right? You won't just say his name children. So the thing about it, this is what we out here trying to identify with our people reading right quick. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse three. The ox knowing his own. Most high God comparing his chosen people to an ox. He said an ox knows his own. An ox is a strong animal, but dumb animal. Read. And the ass his master's crib. And the ass is a donkey, which is another strong and stubborn animal. Read. But Israel. But guess what? Did it with the ox. Did it with the ass. They still know who they master is. They still know. Right. But the Most High God said, but who? Israel. Uh-huh. Do it not know. He said the Israelites, God chosen people, do not know. Do not know. Read. My people. What does the Bible say? My people. The Most High God said his people. Read. Do not consider. They don't even consider. Because right now you say you can, you got children, but according to the Bible, do you know who you are? Because it's 18 nations in the Bible. See, the thing about it, we were never taught our nationality over here. So now, my question to you, you say you guys children, but do you know your nationality? So you're African American. Now, I'm gonna ask you a question. Give me Luke 21 and 33. Because the thing about it, you're African American. You read the Bible before, right? Hey, have you ever heard and seen the word African American in the Bible? So the thing you read it right quick. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Because I understand heaven and earth. Heaven is above, earth is still here now. Read. But my words. But what? But my words. So the thing about it, read. Shall not pass away. So the most high God say, heaven and earth shall pass. Everything that you learn here shall pass away. But he said his words. So this is what's going on. We got to come back to the Most High God's word. Right. So when we come into our people, we ask our people according to the Bible, what is you according to the Bible? African American is not in the Bible. So what we are here to do, give me Matthew 18 and 11. We, we are here to do what Christianity has not done. We are here to do what the uh, rudiments of this world have not done. They have never told the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans who they are according to the Bible. So read on. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 11. For the son of man. Who is the son of man? It's come to save the... Hey, bro, we gonna get with you. Yeah, Read right. that again. Hey. For the son of man. I can't wait. You can't wait? No, I can't wait. <laughs> your time is down here. No, I ain't got time right now. Well, well, why you don't got time? I didn't know. You at work or something? What you got doing? I ain't got time. I'm gonna tell like this. I'm gonna tell like this. Hey, I'm gonna tell like this. The time is short. Here's what's wrong with our people. Hey. Read this again. The, for the son of man is come. Who is the son of man, brother? Jesus. So Christ, right? You get told you ain't have time. Ain't got time. You get told you ain't have time. Read again. For the son of man is come to save that which was lost. Give me Jeremiah 83 right quick, man. This is what's going on. Right now, man, what's more important than salvation? What's more important than eternal life? I just said, what's more important than eternal life? Nothing, right? 
So the thing is, then what our people choose all the time reading right quick. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 3. And death. And what? And death. Well, you say you don't have time for the most high God. This is what you're doing. And what? And death Read. shall be chosen rather than life. Death shall be chosen rather than life. Because the thing about it, we're trying to bring life to our people right now. Because the thing about it, when you come to the understanding of who you are in the Bible, that's the salvation of life, brother. Read on. By all the residue of men, of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places, whether I have driven them, said the Lord of hosts. So right now, brothers, the choice is now we're trying to wake our people up to the truth. Now, what we were talking about, the son of man, which you said Christ, right? Go back to Matthew 18 11 right quick. Hey, can y'all scoot over a little bit? Uh, no, it's <laughs> Go ahead, bro. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 11. For the Son of Man, which you said Christ, right? Free. Is come to save that which was lost. So the thing about it, this one I'm asking you, as a so called black man in America, what nation of people is truly lost? What nation of people don't know our native tongue? What nation of people don't even know where we come from? Because I'm going to ask you a question. Before we got on the slave ship, what language were we uh, speaking? Do you know? Do you know? We weren't speaking English before we got on the slave ship. When they came and got us on the West Coast shores of Africa, you said we were speaking English. That's the See, the thing about it, you say English, but we were enslaved by the so-called white men. That's what we learned English yet. We weren't speaking English. Our native tongue is Hebrew. That's right. See, the thing about it, we were never taught anything. Now, the thing is, if the Son of Man came to say which was lost, what nation is truly lost? So called Negro. We don't we don't really know because I'm asking you a question. Where is our homeland? Who? America. America is not a homeland. Okay, I'm asking you a question. You know something about the roots? You know something about the transatlantic slave trade? How, how did a black man come over here to America? By a boat, right? You look at the chart right here. By, by a boat, right? Was it the love boat? Nah, it wasn't the cruise, right? Huh? <laughs> so it was pretty much slave ships, right? Yeah. So the uh, thing about it, if we were brought over here uh, in captivity, how can you say our homeland is America? That's why our parents were Our parents were enslaved, too. Our ancestors were enslaved. See, the yeah. thing about it, your homeland is where your nation originated from. See, if you were brought over here by force, this is not your homeland. Guess what? This is the land of our captivity. That's what it is. Cause I'm gonna get sure with you. We just talked about boats. We came over here by boats, right? I'm gonna show you according to the scripture. Don't you know God chosen people, the Israelites, came over here by cargo slave ship. Did you know that was in the Bible? Did you know our history is this Bible? Did you know that? I'm gonna show you. Read the right quick, y'all. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. Did y'all ever watch that movie, The Ten Commandments? Remember, remember when Moses freed the Israelites from Pharaoh? And he deported the Red Sea. You heard about that, right? Did the Israelites ever go back into Egypt again? It's is uh, 22. They did not go into Egypt again, so Egypt have a symbolic meaning. Egypt means something. I'm going to show you according to the scripture. Oh, oh, oh. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God. Understand, he's the Lord thy God. Thy me to pertain to read. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Because the Israelites were in the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. House of bondage means captivity. House of bondage also means slavery. So now we're going to go back into Deuteronomy 286 day, and I want you to put slavery where Egypt is. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With slavery where Egypt be. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery. Now what nation of people went into slavery? Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. What nation of people went into cargo slavery with ships? You said it right. The blacks, right? The so-called Negro. Read on. Again with ships by the way. Whereof I spake unto thee. The way Moses spoke to the 12 tribes of Israel, it happened. The so called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we actually formed the 12 tribes of Israel. Have you ever heard this before? 
we are the Hebrew, the Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. Have you ever heard that before? Never heard this before. Yes, all you never heard this before. Because you're in the land of your oppressor. Will your oppressor ever teach you the biblical truth of the Bible? He won't, brother. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Now we talked about where we from. Where is we from? Because America is not our homeland. You got that now, right? We was enslaved over here. We was brought over here in captivity. So where is our homeland, nation? Uh, where, is our, where is our homeland? Where is the motherland? They say Africa is the motherland, right? The same people that say Africa is the motherland, the same people that enslaved us, right? I'm going to show you no truth in your enemy. Read this right quick. This is the book of God, like this, chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem. The Bible says Jerusalem, read. Which is above is free. So right now, Jerusalem, which is Israel, is the highest real estate on the planet. They're not fighting if Africa, the motherland. Why are they not fighting for Africa? they fighting for Israel. Y'all know that, right? Read on. Which is the mother. What of, does the Bible say? Which is the mother. Of us all. Israel is the motherland, bro. We fled into Africa running from Roman persecution. Read on. So now after reading this, knowing that our homeland is Israel, this is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 6 days. The so-called white man has enslaved God chosen people. The so-called white man has enslaved the Hebrew Israelites. What I'm sharing with y'all, brother, we the real Jews of the Bible. Hey, you ever heard this? Have you ever heard this before? It's kind of like, there's somebody speaking on it, but it wasn't as a, like a priest or anything. Okay. So what we out here doing, I'm going to show you, read on. And there ye shall be sold. What happened when we got off the slave ship? Were we not sold? We still slaves. But when we got off the slave, slave, slave ships, what happened? Right. We were sold, right? But I'm trying to show with y'all, this is our history book, brother. Did your past ever break this down to you before? Hey, your past ever told you this in the Bible? Yes, I heard. I heard through. I heard through generations. Okay. That when we came over, we were sold. We were sold. But had your past ever told you that this, this was in the Bible though? That's right. Had your past ever told you that this was in the Bible? He probably did. I just forgot. Probably. I, I probably. What church you went to? I went to in Louisiana. But I heard. I, I, but I heard our own people told us though. You say our own people. I, I heard some of our own black people. So I'm going to sure share this with you. I mean, I, that's what I heard. Now check this out. I'm going to ask you a question. When, when, we, when the Israelites were enslaved in, uh, in Africa, right? We was enslaved by who? What's going on, brother? We was enslaved by who? Pharaoh, right? So my question to you, give me Exodus 11 and 7. This is the biggest, I'm going to talk about it, the biggest deception that the so-called white man taught us. So do you feel like we Africans? No. I'm going to show you according to the Bible. Read it right This is the book of Exodus, chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel. This is the most high God addressing. Against any of the children of Israel, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Read. Shall not a dog move his tongue. Read on. Against men or beasts. No one can speak about the biblical truth. They cannot speak against us when it comes to thus say the Lord. Read. That ye may know how the Lord do it put a difference. Hold up. So the most high God said he done put a difference. Read. Between the Egyptians. So the Egyptians is Pharaoh now. Read. And Israel. And who? And Israel. Brother, we're not African. We the real Jews, bro. See, the thing about it, it's hard to believe a, a Chinese man and a Japanese man, don't they look alike? The Koreans, all they look alike, right? But they two different nations. But when it comes to the so-called Negroes, the white men say, we all Africans. But guess what? Pharaoh wouldn't enslave his own people. Why would Pharaoh rape, rob, and kill his own people? Brother, what we trying to share with y'all, our history been here, bro. <laughs> we the real Jews, bro. So that's what we're trying to share with you. We're not African. That's what, you, that's what we learned in our captivity. Now go back to where we was at. So now the Africans did not sell Africans, brother. Africans sold the Hebrew Israelites to the so-called white men. Do y'all need more information on that? Because I know this is hard to believe. But this is what we were taught. And this was divided of us as a nation. That's right. We're not Africans, brother. We the real Jews. Now go ahead and read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Which we were sold to the uh from the African to the white man. So the most so when we got over here, what nation of people bought us? What nation of people enslaved us? The white man. And there are what? Enemies for bombing. Go back and there. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So the Bible addressed the so-called white man as the enemy to the 12 tribes of Israel. 
This is not my word, this is the most high God word. Do y'all understand that? Talk to me. For bomb for bombing and bond for, for, women. For, for, slow down. For slave men and what? Slave women. Bond women. Bond women. Okay, read. And no man shall buy you. And no man was gonna free us from this curse. Martin Luther King tried. Malcolm X tried. Marcus Scarby tried. The only person gonna free us is the most high guy when it's in the sun back. Do you understand that we up under a curse right now? Have you ever been told that before? See the thing about it. If you up, if you don't know you're upon a curse, how you gonna get out of a curse? I'm gonna show you something right quick. When you think about the captivity that we went through, did any other nation go into slavery like we did? And see, and why is that? Because the Bible, if the whole Christianity teach God love everybody, what was the love that put us on a slave ship? If God love everybody, why we went into captivity? Why we did? You know, bro. What's your name, bro? Chastise just the ones he loves. I'll praise you. You know a little something. We follow the Lord. I'll praise you. So the thing is, I'm going to bring understanding to what the brother was saying. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. See, the thing about it, our forefathers never kept the commandments of the Most High God. Read this right quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Anytime the Bible says it shall come to pass, that means it's going to happen. Read. If thou would not hearken. Hearken me to hear, to listen, to pay attention, to read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Where the voice of the Most High God found today? No, not in the church. In this Bible. In this Bible. His words. Because the thing about it, the church that we deal with today is the synagogue of Satan. But guess who set up your church today? The same people that enslaved us. Some of us are Baptists because guess what? Our slave master was Baptist. And that's what, who, that's who taught your great grandmama to be a Baptist. Some of Jehovah's Witness. Some of uh, Pentecostal. None of these is according to the Bible. So, read on. To observe. To do all his commandments. So, to do all his commandments. How many commandments you been taught over here, brother? You been taught 10. How many you been taught? About 12. So, the thing about it, brother, 613 commandments between the man, woman, and child. Now, think about it. Even with the 10 or 12 that you know, do you keep those? Sometimes, but it, it, it like comes back, you know, it back to me. Now, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Dealing with the laws and statute commandments of the Most High God, this is what y'all got to pay, pay attention to. If we are the chosen seed, it's very important for us to hearken to the words of the Most High God. Do you understand? Do you understand that? I'm going to show you. Read on right quick. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. So the Most High God required the 12 tribes of Israel to keep his commandments and statutes that he commanded us this day. Read. That all these curses. Now think about it. We didn't keep these commandments, brother. We was going to be cursed. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now check this out. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. When you go to every city, who in the hood, brother? Blacks and Hispanics most of the time, right? So the Most High God ordained this. Thousands of years ago, we didn't keep the commandments. We was gonna be cursed in the city. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And was we not cursed in the cotton field? Was we not cursed in the tobacco field? See what I'm trying to show with you. This is our history book. Right what now. other nation can bring this up and say this relate to us? No other nation but the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American. Read on. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Do y'all know any businesses that actually went international? Any businesses that actually thrived throughout the years? We don't have no business. Sweet George Brown is the same spot it was 30 years ago. So the thing about it, the most I got to say, by us being no disobedient, we was going to be cursed. Now the thing is, I'm asking y'all a question because we're reaching out to our people this information that y'all didn't know. But now it's time for us to turn our feet to the testimony and wake up. Let me ask you a question. Are you happy here? Huh? You good? You okay? Now he say he good and he say he okay. Now the thing about it, do you know what is good? Cause you say you good, but you to know I mean, to be good, you gotta know what is good. Give me Romans seven, seven and twelve. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'ma show you. You been you done got comfortable in your oppression. You done got comfortable being a second class citizen, bro. Because this is the thing about it. I'ma show you something. You say you good. Romans seven and uh. Give me uh, 14. No, no, 12. Give me 12. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Because to be good, you got to know what is good. 
If you only know Ten Commandments, you're not good. Because get checked it out. Read. Wherefore, the law is holy. We know the law that was given to the Israelites is holy. Read. And the commandments holy. Uh-huh. And just. And what? And just. But we know the commandments is holy and just. Read. And good. And what? And good. So the thing about it, but to be good, you got to be keeping the commandments of the Most High God. Now the thing about it, you say you good, you say you okay. Can I ask y'all where your business at? You got a you, you got a company somewhere over? Do you got land? You got land? You got cattle? So how is we good? See this is the thing about it, man. Crafty council been brought upon us, brother. See the thing is, by you knowing now that you're a Hebrew Israelite, you gotta turn your feet to the testimony. Because right now, only two options for uh, Israelite. You ought to go repent or you're gonna die. And we talking about the second death, the second death they're gonna lead to the lake of fire. So we will sit over here to be punished because like you just brought out a while ago. He chastised who he was, who he loved. Now the thing about when you chastise someone, like for example, you got a child. Do you whoop that child every day, all day long? Or you whoop that child till they get it right? You whoop that child till he get it right, right? You tell him and guess what he doing right now. You just said you whoop him and you tell him what he did wrong, right? Give me 2 Corinthians chapter 36 and verse 14. I'm going to show you, you said something very, very vital right there. I like what you said. You whoop him and tell him what he did wrong. Uh, chapter 36 verse 14. Chronicles, Chronicles, I'm sorry. I just tell him what they did wrong, you know what I'm saying? I whoop him. Check this out. I'm going to show you how the most I got to work. Cause you said something good right there. 36 to 14, second chronicle. This is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 14. Moreover, all the chiefs of priests and the people transgressed very much after all the abominations of the heathens. Because understand, man, our people, we do everything that the other nations do. Transgress means go against the laws of the Most High God. Read. And polluted the house of the Lord, uh -huh. which he had hollowed in Jerusalem. Okay. And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers. He did what? Sent to them by his messengers. By his what? His messengers. Guess what, brother? We the messengers of the Most High. That's right. We the righteous apostle, man, trying to let you know. Like you just said, you whoop them and you tell them what they doing wrong. We out here to bring that to your understanding. Read. Rising up be times uh -huh. and sending because he had compassion. Because what the Lord have? Had compassion. He had what? Compassion. Brother, this love right here, man. Think about getting beat up and going through hardship and you don't understand why you're going through what you're going through. We try to tell our people we ain't sin, brother. We transgress the laws of the most high God. Read on. On his people and on his dwelling place. But they mock the messengers what of God. What they do? They mock the messengers of oh, God. Oh man, they ain't trying to hear it. What? And despite mock the messengers of God. Read on. And despise his words. And they did what? And despise his words. Notice everything we tell y'all coming out this Bible, bro. We trying to let y'all know y'all the greatest thing walking. Right. Right. And misuse his prophets. They did what? Misuse his prophets. And them niggas don't know what they talking about. Read on. Until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people. Uh -huh. Till there was no remedy. Come on, man. So what you said is in the Bible. He sent us out here to give y'all warning, bro. John Donnie made the beat and no one it. Then all these curse, high blood pressure, then all these curse, diabetes, then all these curse, cancer, then all these curse, then all these curse. Come on, brother. What nation of people need in all these curse?